Hi guys and welcome to my video. Today I'm doing a little bit different type of a video and I'm doing a Q&A video. I posted a picture on my Instagram and Twitter and asked you guys what nursing questions do you guys have for me and so I'm here to answer all of your questions and this video is going to be in two parts because when I posted the question asking what questions you guys had I was not expecting to get so many questions and so I'm going to divide this video into two parts. Part one will post one day, part two will be up the next day and so that way I can make sure the video isn't too long but I can answer all of your questions. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started and I have my questions on my phone so I'm just going to be reading them off my phone. The first question is, what kind of things can you take slash carry for clinicals? So I actually did a video on what's in my clinical bag that has everything that is in my clinical bag that I take to clinicals. Some of the main things that I always have is my stethoscope, um, a snack, my wallet, some money, my license, um, paper, pens. If you want to see a more detailed video on what's in my clinical bag, I'll leave that link above. It should pop up right now and so click on that if you're interested in checking out that video. Alright, the next question is, while doing prereqs for the nursing program, are there any types of study tips students can do and to help memorize information in the long run? So, yes, my main pointer to memorizing information in the long run is to not memorize it. And what I mean by this is if you just memorize facts, if you just memorize statistics, if you just memorize the information, you are not going to remember it. You're going to remember it for the test and then it's going to, you're going to forget it. So my tip is to really understand the information and apply it. So if you understand how things work, you're going to remember that in the long run. Or for example, if you're learning anatomy and physiology and you're learning the bones, make up something to help you remember the bones, but don't just memorize them. Try to apply it and try to use the information you're learning in your everyday life so that way it sticks with you longer. The next question is, are there any type of other jobs locations for nursing instead of hospitals? And yes, this is one of the things I love about nursing is that you don't just have to work in the hospital. You can work in like a general practice. You can work as a school nurse. You can work as a public health nurse. You can work at an immunization clinic. There are lots of jobs that aren't just in the hospital setting. There's lots of outside clinics that you can work at. And so that's what I love about nursing is there's so many options. And if the hospital setting isn't for you, that's okay. You can still work as a nurse outside the hospital and also nurses can be teachers as well so if you love teaching and you love nursing boom perfect combo right there you could be a nurse teacher the next question asks what are some ways to prepare for the NCLEX and this is a great question I plan on doing a more detailed video about what I'm doing to prepare for the NCLEX but some great ways to prepare are to just practice a ton of questions over and over and over. There's apps out there. Also, there are two companies that I am familiar with that help you prepare for the NCLEX. That is Kaplan and Hearst. And these help break down nursing questions to help you better analyze what they're asking and to pick the right answer. And so those are some ways that people choose to prepare for the NCLEX. Personally, right now, what I'm doing is just answering hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of questions over and over and over so that way I get really used to the NCLEX format for questions. But like I said, I'll be doing a video on that later on that is more in depth about how I'm preparing for the NCLEX or ways you can prepare for the NCLEX, so keep an eye out for that. The next question asks, do you have a hard time adjusting to the things you see in clinicals? I've heard of nursing students fainting and was wondering if there was anything you did to desensitize to it or did it naturally just come to you? So this is a great question and yes, we have all heard horror stories of nursing students who have fainted, but also nurses have fainted as well. Even if you've been exposed to something for a long time, it can still be hard seeing certain things. So the best thing is to know what you're comfortable with and keep an open mind. So especially that first semester in nursing school, you're probably going to be changing briefs and doing some kind of not so clean nursing things and that may kind of gross you out that may cause you to feel lightheaded but it's okay if you are in that moment and you are not feeling so hot to step away from the situation and then come back to it when you're ready i actually shared my story of almost fainting in one of my videos and i'll leave that above as well but i think every nursing student and every nurse has at least one time in their life where they feel like they're going to faint so there's nothing i've really done to desensitize myself to it i just have to keep an open mind and if i am starting to feel kind of queasy i remove myself from the situation because if you're not feeling well you're not going to be able to take care of your patients all right the next question asks 
I want to know how you take notes during class. Do you print out PowerPoint slides and take notes on them, or do you type on a laptop? Also, what have you found is the best way to study for exams? Do you make an outline or a study guide? So, yes, yes, and yes. <laughs> I personally think that taking really great notes is one of the key successes to doing well on your exams and remembering the information. I do not print out PowerPoint slides. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't. I personally like to type on my laptop. I just have a Word document that I keep all my notes on for each exam. And so that's what I do. I know a lot of people like to print out the PowerPoint slides or they take notes on the PowerPoint slides. You really have to find out what is best for you and stick to that because once you find that study method or note taking method that really works for you, then things seem to be a little easier, helps you prepare for exams a little bit better. The other question on what is the best way to study for exams? I do lots of different things to study for exams and again I do have another video about how I study for exams that goes into detail so I'll leave that above as well. But basically what I do is I take really good notes, I study a little bit every day, I write out my own questions that I think might be on the test to help me apply the information, and I also create a blank study guide that I fill in um, with all the information on it. So again, I'll leave that video up above if you guys are wanting to know how I prepare for exams. Alright guys, so that is the end of part one. Thank you for watching this part. If you ask me a question and you haven't heard it in this part, it most definitely will be in part two. So stay tuned for that. That will be up tomorrow. And thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.